Hey besties, and thank you so much for joining me in today's video, and welcome if you guys are new. In today's video, we are doing my January perfume tray for 2024. First perfume tray video of 2024, so that is super exciting. But before we jump into this, I quickly want to say a huge thank you from the bottom of my heart for 10,000 subscribers on YouTube. That is actually insane. I've been creating consistently on YouTube for about two years now, and I have to say it is so fulfilling for me personally. I love the fact that you guys let me, you know, talk about everything I want to talk about, whether it's makeup or fragrance, because I know I kind of did switch it up on you guys, like, kind of quickly, slowly but surely, and then it's just been a whole lot of fragrance content lately, but I love the fact that you guys still stick around and just love to talk with me and hang out and have a nice time, so I love you guys. Without further ado, let's jump in, but I just quickly wanted to say thank you so much. That is such a milestone. I love you guys. So these were the perfumes I had on my December perfume tray. I'm not going to do an update, but I think I think I'll quickly tell you the fragrances that got the most use and the ones that got the least. So I would say Silk Santal got a nice amount of use. This one is so beautiful. Kayali, what are you doing? Please restock this. So many people want it. And now that I know they are restocking soon, I have been using mine. That's why the dent is getting a bit lower. Used eyelash number one a ton. Then Bianco Latte from Giardini di Toscana. Something about this formula... I don't know what they did here, but when you smell this fragrance, it just fills a room and it also like fills your nose even after you go to your collection and just give it a nice sniff. Um, it's stuck in your nose for like the next five minutes. I love this. It is so mouthwatering, creamy, lactonic, delicious, and it got a good amount of use for me. Of course, every month it does, but also in December. I feel like the past fragrances have all had vanilla. I'm pretty sure my most used fragrance in December was Sabrina Carpenter Sweet Tooth because look at this dent. It's like down to here. I love to layer this with other fragrances and also I just feel like because it's more affordable, I don't have to feel as guilty, especially when I want to wear it like in the house. This is so beautiful. If you like vanilla, of course, if you like white chocolate, there's marshmallow and there's also this beautiful candy ginger that's not too spicy, but just gives it a little bit of uniqueness in my opinion and a beautiful cashmere wood you also feel the coconut i'm never shy with my burberry goddess and i did not shy away from it in december i didn't use it like crazy but it did get some usage as well as killian's angel share this one i loved for holiday parties in december such a delicious intoxicating scent so boozy and yummy then ball number nine's tribeca i used a few times not as many as I would have liked, but a few times anyways. And this one is a beautiful, nutty, cozy, but airy scent that I just, I love this one and I crave. It does remind me of Baccarat Rouge 540 for sure. But again, the sweeter, cozier version, like nuttier, you know, this one is great. All these I used a good handful of times, but these, I don't know, I just didn't get around to it. So I did use them, don't get me wrong, but just not anywhere near enough. And now I'm just going to take all these fragrances oop, off of the tray so I can clean it and then stack it with all our January goodies. Scrub a dub dub. All right, so first, I'm not going to worry too much about the display. I'm not going to worry too much about the organization. I'm more so just going to throw what I want to smell and experience in January on the tray, and we'll kind of go from there. Starting with Dama Bianca from Zerzhov. This has been such a beautiful fragrance in my collection. I love this so dearly. I think it's so ethereal. It's very angelic. It's light. It's dainty. It's just so gorgeous. It's vanilla, powdery florals. There's some uh, kumquat in this and lime. And I did order the dupe that you guys um, recommended me because even for the smaller size, it wasn't cheap. And I think I am going to go through this really, really fast. So to have something like half the price for the small bottle, I mean, sounded great. I'm going to try it and I'll do you guys a video either over here or on TikTok. So I'm going to put that 
in the back for now. The, well, let's just do it for now, but I do feel like it's gonna go in the front later. And then also Casamirati's Lira. This one is like lemon pound cake, so delicious, so mouthwatering. This one, you really do get the lemon loaf reference for real with the caramel drizzle over top and that blood orange. Oh my gosh, it even has lavender and some type of liqueur. This, so scrumptious. I'm gonna put that one right next to her sister. Next up is Juliet Has a Gun. Mmm, I love the name. It cracks me up. I feel like the fragrance in the opening is very playful, kind of innocent, and very sweet. It does remind me of a sweetheart, I'm not gonna lie, because there is like this powdery quality to it as well. Almost like there's some fluffy marshmallow in this fragrance, even though they don't claim there is. So for me, I do feel like it reminds me of those candy hearts you get in middle school and you pay a dollar to get them sent to your crush. Let me know down below if you ever received or gave any of those candy hearts. Cards, but anyway, um, this does remind me of that. It's very sweet. It's kind of romantic and it does in a way remind me of Dior Poison, but you don't get that Play-Doh smell. But I will warn you, maybe smell this one in store because it can come off a little medicinal at times, but it's very long lasting, very, very long lasting. So anyway, I've talked about that one for far too long. This one is going on the tray and I love this bottle. Then we have Intoxicate from La Feed. Actually, I think it's, uh, Lafide Intoxicates from Cadillage, and this for me is a very beautiful apple spice warm fragrance. This does remind me, I'm gonna smell it, of Killian's Angel Share, but it's a little bit lighter not as heavy. For me, this one wears lighter on the skin, but it's still very beautiful. And for me, just off the actual smell, it does remind me more of Killian's Angel Share than I would say Kamra from Latafa. So this is beautiful. I actually feel like if Killian Angel Share is too much for you, especially with the wood, then this would be perfect. If you are somewhere too, that is very hot, like for me in Florida. I think I also want to try to use Black Opium YSL. I feel like I never use this one, especially after I got my Black Opium Le Perfume. So this is white florals, patchouli, there is coffee, and also a good amount of vanilla, but I love the Le Perfume so much more, I'm going to be honest. This is super sexy, great for a night out, great for a date night. Let's see if we can get a little dent going on in this fragrance. Then I recently did a dedicated video on marshmallow perfumes and Oriana came up and let me just tell y'all, I, every time I take a break from smelling this and then actually wear this, I fall in love. I've been recently using the Velvet Shadow from Zara, which smells very comparable, but this one is just so special. Orange Blossom, marshmallow, raspberry, just so yummy, you guys. You get the citruses, the musk. This is so beautiful. So this will also be on our tray. There's whipped cream. So many yummy notes in that fragrance. Please give it a sniff. I expected to like Kiss a Pink from Paris Corner, but what I didn't expect was to like it more than Yara. People were saying these two smell really alike, and I do believe that is true, but I will just say this one is fruitier. This one is not as powdery. And the way that the coconut milk is done within this fragrance is much more refreshing This is so girly and flirty and like pretty does remind me of the color pink and like bubblegum So beautiful and I like the packaging again way 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 more on this fragrance Next up is the pistache skincare pistachio Biscotti perfume. So if you do like the body lotion they sell on Amazon, you're gonna love this. I just tried it like one time. So I do want to put it on the tray just to get a little more comfortable and familiar with it. Okay, we have our sweets, we have our sexy, we have our cinnamony, spicy, girly. Let's add something else girly. So Eden Sparkling Lychee. This one is fruity, candied, sugary lychee goodness. This overall is very, very sweet and very girly. So I'm going to put this on the tray as well. I've really been loving it. Mm, it's still cold. I want some more vanilla. So let's do vanilla 28, brown sugar, really tasty with Dulce by Rosie Jane, which is a lovely musky woody vanilla. Good. 
what else we're missing something i can feel it so again so i'm gonna go right to left we have our fun sexy spicy sweet girly flirty again sweet nutty what are we we need something like clean and like fresh clean and fresh um this one is more like clean and soapy but i think i want to add the ysl absolute platine this one is like the softer powdery clean aldehydic version but it's not like what i think of when i think of a freshie of course but i do want to put this one on the tray now let's do something that actually is more like a freshie let's do Britney Spears, this one is called, I think, Curious. This one is a freshie and it's very affordable. So I want to put that one on the tray. I also want something kind of bougie. This one is Chance Otandra. This one is a fruity floral. It kind of has that dry bitter because there is a citrus note in here. Can't put my finger on it. But that makes it a little bit dry and citrusy. What is the note? Is it the Keats? I think it's Keats. Yeah, so we're going to put this one on here. Really beautiful, super classy, but also has a freshness to it. Then Versace, Crystal Noir, mysterious, who is she kind of vibes. I said it that way because in my recent video that I did, I said Versace and someone got really upset with me. So I'm so sorry, Versace. Next is the Girl of Now Ellie Saab perfume. I want to try this one. I haven't really even tested it, but one time. So I do want to give this one a shot. I just got it off of Joma Shop. Also adding Fleur's mood ring. Love that one. Ariana Grande Cloud. I've been craving this set like crazy. So I'm going to put that one on the tray. Also Jo Malone London Scarlet Poppy Cologne Intense. I smelled this in store. I liked it. And they did send me the bottle, so I'm excited to play around with it, see if I like it. Off of first impression, I really do. Because I'm not going to add Sweet Tooth, the original, I'm going to add Sabrina Carpenter Sweet Tooth Caramel Dream, which is a sexier, kind of more complex version. Definitely smells like more money than what it is, so I love that. And now I'm going to organize. It's absolutely bothering me that Escapé Gourmand and Kaoli Silk Santol are not on this tray. And Burberry Goddess. So here is our tray. I think it looks so good. I will say I wanted the pinks to be at the front, but having the little guys in the back was throwing me off. And after I finished organizing, Curious by Britney Spears was not fitting. So somebody had to go. Unfortunately, it was this guy. We have our gold black, gold black. Y'all know I love a good gold black moment. I know these bottles aren't black, but they're dark enough, okay? Sweet perfumes, elegant perfumes, vanilla perfumes. This guy is a little more than vanilla, but then we have our pink perfumes and also our, I guess that's just sweet in the background. Honestly, didn't know where else to put them, but yeah. I do enjoy the look of the tray. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, look at poor Angel Share. I'm so sorry. Um, and thank you guys so much for 10,000 subscribers. It still feels so unreal. I love you guys and I will see you in the next one, besties. Bye.